Hello and welcome to Haunting Ground Part 7. Ow, my finger just clicked. So yeah, let's continue, shall we, gaming community? Yes, we shall. Now, I'm still confused. I literally haven't even looked at this properly. And my iPad just went off because I'm that professional. So, salt in the left, mercury in the right, sulfur in the middle. Ice Dragon's house is still open. I'll need to insert a different plate. I am not understanding why it won't work. I have to insert another plate. Yes, if it doesn't matter, I'll judge you as long as you have three questions. What? No, that that is not right. You have to get them in the right order, you silly person. I am literally looking at the walkthrough to try and figure out where it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this just because I know that she's around the place and. I might need to run away. The luminescent just died. It just farted itself to death. Well, pick it up then. Ugh. Oh, fuff. Okay. Uh, refined amnesia. Uh, uh, magnesia, not amnesia. Magnesia. Okay. So, let's. Ah, uh, it went away. So, blood dragon room puzzle? I'm pretty sure I got it right the first time. Ugh. I'm not finding it. Oh god, that scared me. Now. Hello gaming community and welcome back to I had to load something different. I had to load from a different save. So this is a totally different save, though I have all the same stuff. So, that's good. I don't think I have the powder boots, but meh. No, I don't, but doesn't matter. Uh, they're not really that special. So, the other save was corrupted. It was messed up. It wouldn't work. Um, it was all wrong. Pretty much, I put in the uh, sulfur, which should have gone in the middle one, in this one on the right, uh, when that should have been mercury, and then the middle one was sulfur, but it wouldn't work. It was bugged. Uh, which keeps happening to me. It happened in Silent Hill 2 as well, which in just enraged me. But luckily, I have an old save. This was like 2012, so this is an old save. So pretty much we're gonna go up here. The flame has frozen in place, creating a crystalline ice pillar. I will actually show you that turning into ice if you want, because I'm gonna show you all the cutscenes. There's gonna be a dedicated video to all the cutscenes and everything. And I will even leave all of the panty shots uncensored. Um, and everything. So have I already got that then? Okay, there was a uh, key up there. And there was an item around here somewhere. Um, but there's journals. What could this mean? Okay. February 8th, 1784. I have decided to summon that renowned master alchemist to the castle. There is talk that the Count has used the technique as the dry method to uh, obtain eternal life. Some may consider it sacrilege, but the Lord's thank thankless cooperation will base my research off any findings obtained through their generous sacrifices. November 16th, 1822. Eternal life obtained through the power of the dry method seems to carry no side effects. As it stands, the Lord is showing no effects of aging, even though his skin is cracked and his flesh is rotten. Ew, and his entrails liquefied. It appears that death will not be visiting him anytime soon. However, I will carry on with my research after all. In my case, time actually is on my side. May 2nd, 1898. Eternal life brought forth a form of power the dry method could not... is not bound by time nor spiritual energies. However, it is not enough to fully realise my dreams. Any research beyond this point would be meaningless without the sacred Askloth. Uh, December 29th, thanks for that, 1944. My interest towards the dry method research is waning. Uh, I shall write its formula as well as the results of my research here. A group of followers and I have calmed the flames to symbolise the basic elements. Thusly, the alchemic chain has been ruptured and the spirit has been eternally freed from the body. That's all that needs to be known. I'll see you in the next episode.
look after yourselves and those that you love.